Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. Hmm. Guess I was at the end of a turn here, wasn't I? Let's see what they do here. Ah, more units. No militia this time, but I do have... Yeah, I think I'll take it. True quantum networking. Okay, and that lets me get my 20% more energy, which will be really nice. Gotta get another doctrine slot. Are either of these useful? Infiltrating a player will give all units a 20% damage bonus against their units? Oh my god. It's amazing. I mean, I need to uh, research how to infiltrate a player, I suppose. Where is that? Infiltrate, here. So, you know what, I guess... Let's, uh, let's get rid of that and instead do this. Is there a way to turn it off once I've selected it? I don't want to research this anymore. Maybe I just have to hit the research button? Okay. That's weird. I would have thought just clicking on it would make a difference, but I guess clicking on it doesn't change it. We go up to Intelligence Gathering and then we do that. Huge tanks for their growth will get me a flowering node. That's pretty nice. 340 production. We sense tasty emissions coming from your dwelling places. This thing you call sewage. We want it. Can you send it this direction? We hunger for your delicious extractions. Clearly, we're meant to live together in symbiosis. Reasonable. Ah, yeah, we leveled up because of what we had just done. Spore feeding. Heroes surrounds their army with spores that feed on their units' kills to regenerate their hit points. Biological and cyborg units regain 15 health when they kill a biological or cyborg unit within three hexes of them. Okay. I guess we could make you into a commander. You're going to be not a commander, because you're jumping back into my main stack when my when that hero gets back here. But yeah, spore feeding. Happiness event in colony. Happiness event in colony. Production ready. Are we being invaded? We backed off. Okay. Cool. How much do I need for this? 30? Let's take that and get ourselves more research. Vegetation. Threats to choke out our efforts to excavate this area. Something is stimulating the plants. Everything is thicker and stronger here. It's nothing like anything we've seen elsewhere in this area. Well, it's a lot of research. Well, just a return of research. 
Bio scanners indicated activity deep inside the dead vegetation. All indicators tell of a star unit facility hidden therein. We need a quick way to clear the spoiled overgrowth. Cut for two turns or burn for one turn with 50% chance of success. I think we're okay. Okay, covert ops. Production ready. Ah, that's expensive. Can they get to us this turn? No. Good, so we'll have another overseer. Production ready. For the next fight. Hmm. I feel like flying units might actually be decent. Because they are, I mean, I guess they have their snipers, which are pretty good against air, but their uh, base Kirko unit with the uh, or whatever isn't very good against flying units. Base manipulator. What can I actually modify on you? Anything interesting? I mean, it can make you really expensive to build. Sun module would be probably pretty good. Arc extension and stun, yeah. A lot of cosmite for one of these. I guess accuracy is good as well. Fifty-four cosmite. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Well, these overseers are relatively cheap. So I think we uh, keep getting those to help out with the cosmite. Get some more troops. Operations available for priming. And let's not forget... Ooh, 200 energy to... It'll be worth it. Get that going. Because that'll pay for itself really fast. Okay, yeah, they're running away. Well, they're moving a tile away. Okay. Happiness event in Colony. Alright, well that pays for the uh, thing we just built. Uh, obviously we need Cosmite. Uh, more influence would also be really nice, but we... Right, let's just buy that. Production ready. Sector upgrade will give me more base income. Do we want this base to ever be military production or is it going to be resources? I feel like this is a resource base. Why now is cheaper? I mean, this isn't particularly good though. Maybe we just don't build it. Maybe we just work on other things. Uh, regardless, we can get more energy. Positronic technologies employ. 
Okay, we've gotten to the end of our... We can actually just do future tech now if we want. We've gotten to the end here. Massive impact stagger cone attack. It's kind of cool. Be expensive. Positron converter. Field flips the electron charge on friendly arc weaponry. All owned units arc abilities can stun targets and deal 60% more arc damage for a turn. Okay. Or this is a shield, I guess. 25% harder to hit with range and 6 arc resistance. And at the end of each com uh, turn in combat, a random enemy within a 2x area radius takes damage. Okay, I mean, that's a cool thing too. I'm just... Yeah, I'm not able to port a lot of these things just yet. Get a rift generator or a subjugator. Um, maybe time to get another unit. Alright, next we go intelligence gathering. Okay, these are probably attacking me. How many more turns have you got here? Meditating, one more turn, okay. Well, we're not holding this if they attack us. So... Uh, you can get there, but we can't do more than six units a turn, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just evacuate you. For this turn, and then we'll get our other six units next time. And we can we can get that far, so we'll skip a turn for now. Um, biological recovery. Heals biological unit at stack 6 per strategic turn. Good. Hmm. I mean, putting some mods on you would be pretty nice, too. Yeah, just randomly hitting something every turn seems kind of nice. Uh, is there anything else I want to put on you? I don't think anything else actually matters. You're kind of a weird unit. Storm Prophet, sure. Alright, damage is temporarily down. And you do have mods, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh. Discharge shield would be amazing on these guys, because they can duplicate themselves and then hit two things with the discharge every turn. Hmm. That's something to consider. Okay, we're getting our turrets up in both bases. Which is wasted production, really, but... It's a uh, piece of peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind. That's the that's the phrase. Production ready. Oh yeah, you got a ton of building to do still. Maybe we could focus on that as well. Um, okay, Insta Nest Swamp. Okay, this is going to be production. This is going to be research, maybe? Do I need... Do I need research? 
regardless, I think we go production here because that makes everything else easier. Uh, it's the place we want. Careful, almost put it in the wrong spot. That would have been tragic. And then do I need any of these or do I want to just go um, residential? Because I could put food here, which would give me a lot of growth. I guess that makes sense. But then, if I want this to be a military production place, though, I want probably energy or research. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't care. I think it would max out if I don't do residential early. Residential allows you to get beyond your maximum. I mean, it probably, in the, in the wide scheme of things, doesn't actually matter. Let's just, let's just do agriculture. Okay, I can infiltrate. Now that I can infiltrate, we can try to get this. Doctrine enacted. Alright. Operations available for priming. Well, we'll try it. We'll see how hard it is. Production ready. You've got defense, you could be doing some stuff, but I really want to start it on that. Especially since, yep, we are uh, losing the space. I mean, I have a decent amount of defense here, but that's quite a bit of offense. The shards glow, projected signs onto surfaces. A faint hum penetrated our minds. The Celestian artifact accepted our patience, unlocking a vision. We saw a temple, disciples trained in pure light, till the foul shadow of Sinumbra defiled it. A caretaker cradles the shard, fleeing into cold space, like a falling star. The disciples' transport crashed here. The shard's light was swallowed by the wreckage of those last remaining that loved it, buried in this strange place, waiting for a hero. Anomalous site will become a sun shard, which I'll then lose access to. That's a little bit sad. Hero is deemed worthy by the sun shard. Plus four psionic resistance and 10% damage to psionic attacks. I mean, I guess. Uh, it provides unwavering will to units built in the own colony. So, I mean, this is going to become a very nice base. It was already a nice base, but uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that I'm going to be losing that. You're now good at psionic attacks, which is whatever. I mean, I might as well. It's free. Not that thing. Alright, well. We're gonna merge. And. Jump ship. And basically. Kind of do the same thing that we did against the Syndicate player, where we now kind of rush all in against the uh, the Kirko. Because we should have a lot of troops in this area now.
Thick overgrowth was clearly the work of the sentient plants we know as the growth. At first, we cursed them for creating such a terrible obstacle until we broke through their barrier and discovered something far worse contained within the Xenoplague. For us, sprawled a large underground test site. Within the site, lurking in every conceivable place of ambush, squirmed the oozing eyes of the Xenoplague. They, started, they stared hungrily at the weight of freedom just beyond us and readied their attack. Apparently, the Star Union intended to destroy this whole sector. But the growth deactivated the placed explosives and contained the menace in their wall of roots. Uh, kill the Xenoplague. Uh, that's probably going to activate a fight. Activate the site's emergency self-destruct system. Call the growth to reseal the site. The Xenoplague cannot be permitted to escape. We have no time to do much other than fight for our lives and for the lives of our planet. Enter combat or leave for now. I mean, we should probably leave for now and bring reinforcements, right? Well, not only did the reinforcements not work, but also they weren't that scary. The Xenoplague has been defeated. This complex is most interesting, and we discovered a new defense belonging to the growth that we were previously unaware of. A ton of research and a caustic blade. Oh, I guess the money icon means I'd just be selling the blade. Um, but do I want this? High impact stagger, armor melt. Debilitating Infection. Do I actually want this? I don't think I do. Like, it's a nice weapon. But I have some pretty nice melee weapons already. I think I'm going to sell it, and I'm assuming I still get the research. Yeah. Okay. Now that that's finally done. Well, you for sure are gonna hook up with this this army, get your morale up. And you're gonna be a commander of preferably biological units. And you're preferably military, uh, not military, preferably infantry. Um, I guess I don't need all of those in here, actually. Especially since the, uh, the other hero is going to be joining us. Man, I've got a lot of these overseers now. Get that done. Our analysis has revealed the location of a Star Union rune, which may contain artifacts of great value. We should send a hero-led expedition as soon as possible. I guess these things just keep spawning as I clear them. Hmm. Can't rush quest. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty impossible. Hey, we killed a thing. It's definitely been the most turbulent mission I've ever played. I've lost so many structures. Like, all that early game rushing I did Seems kind of worthless, actually, um, which will be interesting, because when we get to Mission 2, I'm actually going to be playing very differently. I think this was a really good learning experience. Um, I was being super aggressive, assuming that I could hold it, but then I couldn't hold it, so it didn't work. Didn't work out. Slay six autonom, thou shalt not compute. They have no essence, lifeless idols that must be smashed. We judge them constructs of entropy, mere distractions to life's purpose. They are programmed for violence to take offense if we point out how meaningless they are. Destroy them. Okay. Oh, that's pretty strong, actually.
Uh, I did want to send my one hero here, though. But what just happened? I did want to send my one hero here, but I think at this point I just need to start taking Kirko settlements. Resupply charge station. That'll get me my movement back. Okay, which lets me hook up here. And yeah, all these sectors are occupied. And that was a nice city. Production ready. I just don't have the ability to do much of anything. Okay, non-elite units get stronger. I guess. I know I'm researching the ability to do elite units, so I might want to have an elite factory at some point, somewhere. You're already non-elite. Okay, maybe we just uh, hold off on that for now. In the meantime... Hmm. Sure. Export. Help the other bases grow. Production ready. Happiness event in colony. Okay, well, that event explains why we had so Happiness much event in colony. production everywhere. Yeah, and having these uh, road upgrades makes a big difference. All right, now we get to see how woefully inadequate our uh, espionage offense capabilities are. Production ready. Good. I'm getting some decent cosmite income again, despite losing all of my bases. Uh, let's grab the influence as well. It's good to have. Production ready. Wraith and subjugators. I am researching subjugator, right? Uh, did I just research it? I think I just researched it. Okay, well, look, we decided this is where we're going to be building elite units. Happiness event in colony. Operations primed and ready. The Chax is the one I want to do this on. You must have at least a 20% chance of success. They got 10 offense, they've got 26 defense. Oh boy. Whereas if I try to do it on Ebra. Thirty-five percent chance of success is not great. Yeah, so I guess we just sit here and wait on that. Unfortunately. Hmm, void barriers. I could put in this base and then expand out this way in order to try to slow down the assembly if they come in this way. I mean, I could try to do some of this stuff. 
Uh, prepping this is good. So I have it prepped. For when I have a big battle. Indenture can... Then get the ability to build a zenith. 17 turns. Ugh. Should be able to take that in a few turns. It looks like um, they're not adjacent to the banners because it's a flying unit. And do we convert this back? That's going to risk making the Kirko angry, which could affect our Kirko hero. Which shall not kill us. Time Objective out. completed. And we will take this reward because I want the unit. They demand 50 energy and they'll give me 7 Cosmite. Sure. Level 8 hero in a vehicle. Okay. Right, we'll just accept. Operations ready. Yeah. Production ready. Our capital is up and running again. Operational defense, it's unfortunate. If the Intelligence Gathering Bureau gave me a global offense bonus, I'd consider it. But as it stands, I actually need to research more stuff. In fact, I should probably be doing that first. Uh, botanical Gardens for happiness. They've got decent happiness as it stands. I guess we just start building units. Right, we're going to manage this. Modify you to get the discharge shield. Mod equivalent units. And uh, let's not have that be visible. Okay, so now I can build these for 31 apiece. Uh, this is 54. Well, let's get one, I guess. Oh man, that's a lot of uh, golfers. Hmm. Well, obviously we're waiting until this army gets into position then. Okay, is there anybody here that I want to upgrade? I mean, I can upgrade you. I can't afford to upgrade you because that's expensive. Uh, you. Okay, let's just spend the rest of our Cosmite to mod you as well. 
I guess I can uh, deal with the hero stuff as well. This doesn't actually do anything while you're in a vehicle, does it? I guess it does. It's just showing as a purple background. I thought that was like a red, red background for being disabled, but I was wrong. Uh, hover bike. Okay, so you're in some sort of generic vehicle, I guess. SciTech emitter, single action for 15, or Eagle Pulsar repeating for 7. I guess that makes sense. Motion suppressor. Target hampers a unit, effects jumps to another unit as well. Okay, just a chance to slow two units and do a tiny bit of damage. We could turn everything to thermal. I don't think that actually helps us. All right, we'll figure that stuff out later. In the meantime, you are a synthesis hero. Attacks by units in this hero's army bypass one shield and one armor. Sure. Hmm, you're not actually flying. So air commander... I'm trying to decide if I want to have an air, air unit or not. Mechanical and cyborg units can be disrupted, which is useful against the assembly, not so useful against the Kirko. Okay, electrified subroutines, though, seems a lot more useful. Heavy ground units deal extra. I mean, you are not heavy yourself. But I have a number of heavy units that I can end up just putting in this army with this this hero. So that might be what I do. Override demons, yeah, targeting. Shield battery, we'll take. Operation strength is increased by six on operations to target sectors with this hero in them. Yeah, we'll grab that. I don't know what that does exactly, but it might help me. I don't know if it helps with the global stuff, like trying to infiltrate somebody's network. If I'm targeting armies in defensive positions, that should help me. And I could give you an extra mod slot. I don't think that's terribly useful. Uh, chance to mind control a unit. I mean, it is a disable for a turn, even if it fails. We'll do that. And then I guess ranged and accuracy. Okay. You're a heavy unit, aren't you? You sure are. Operations primed and ready. I'm completely out of Cosmite. Okay, maybe we do more happiness then? I mean, we have quite a bit of happiness anyway, but... You know, might as well build something. Happiness structures are free income at the end of the day. Uh, what even is this space? Just money at the moment. More money, I guess. Since I am too poor to, in terms of Cosmite, to afford much of anything at the moment. And the other thing I want to do then is change this, because underhanded exploitation... I mean, plus 40% production is pretty nice everywhere. I want that deep infiltration, but I won't be able to use it. Uh, oh, this is the other thing I was considering. Yeah, make elite units better. If I'm going to have an elite structure, I guess that's a thing I can do. Operation effectiveness. Is another thing I can do as well. Colony district buildings. 
I can get more influence. If I wanted to have the ability to upgrade my residential sectors. Hmm. I think we'll go for the elite. I've changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to be cracking into their defense anytime soon. Yeah, they have managed to grab that base for themselves. Happiness event in colony. Happiness event in colony. Optimizing control agency, right, yeah. Production ready. Maybe I should actually get defense in my capital this time. <laughs> get some happiness, build up some cosmite for a few turns. Production ready. Same deal here, get some happiness, build up cosmite for a few turns. Operations primed and ready. We'll try it. Successful and not detected. Okay, that was lucky. Successfully infiltrated enemy operation center is transferring data to us through a secure channel. With their help, we can view the enemy's current operation and render them more vulnerable to our own. The operational defense reduced by four and non-covert special operations and secret technology revealed. Okay. Warmonger. Is more is a more aggressive style, focusing their research on weapons and units specific to their race. Aim to increase their colony productivity and build more units. Okay. All right, use five different covert operations. Hmm. Empire task completed. An operator. Covert and strategic operations cost less energy. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so. Retake our capital, I guess. Can we reach with everybody this turn? Not with you. This worries me. Well, success chance too low. Can't even use it. Yeah, that's I guess a reason to have you. Can you make it into the sector? You can. Okay. Oh, this is a different sector. That's too low. Okay, apparently that stuff actually matters. Well. I don't see anything here that helps me. So I guess we just do a big fight. See how it plays out. Thinking about it. Lost my commander. Uh, I think that's okay. Absorb or migrate. If we migrate, the Kirko hate us, which is bad. I guess I'll. Reabsorb my capital. Let's 
upgrade to level 8. What do we want to give you? Extermination Squad? Animal Plant and Xenoplague. Hmm. Probably just... Uh, it's just one damage, really. More health seems like it would be more useful than that, then. Wasn't expecting to have such a good result there. Right, and this is kind of awkward to get through, but we can get through this way now. And there's that. Hard to say. Um, I guess this is our ally down here. They are at war. So, in fact, is there anything negotiate? Oh, cannot perform this action really. Commanders recuperating. Okay, I was going to try to trade maps. Operations primed and ready. We're going to do that again, because we would like to infiltrate, I guess, now that I, I can see, Ruthless Warmonger, Herder. Okay. For some reason I thought you were Celestian. Okay, where are all my heavy? I guess it's just you, isn't it? I, I did take that on you, right? You are my heavy... ground commander? Yep. Yeah. Well, we took out a pretty big army, so I guess we just keep pushing. This next, probably. Actually, if this is a new base over here, and I have... Hmm. I wonder if I can just run down here and snipe this. Depends what their defenses are like. progress was made. We're starting to push back, hopefully. Except the demand. Well, I have a ton of energy, so that's fine. Interplanetary sowing methods. Gives me another flowering node. Nice. Another node is fully grown and ready to launch the seed pod from this planet. But many suns ago, we lost all contact with the symbiosis of other worlds. We have lost our bearing. Help us calculate a trajectory so the solar winds lead us to fertile soil. And three turns on that, that's fine. Um, we could try to infiltrate our ally. That seems target already under effect. Chance too low. Operations primed and ready. 
No, I figured we'd just uh, have that sitting here so that we can do it when we want to. Likewise, Void Barriers. I don't want to spend the 10 upkeep, but I will act, uh, prep it so that if I see an enemy army coming in, I can just, you know, like here, for example, I can just throw it down. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. I don't think... Okay, well, they could theoretically attack me now. Hmm. Maybe it was a mistake to go out that way. Or maybe we just run this way with everybody. And then we'll just clean up from the bottom, so that we're not digging into the middle of a of a territory and getting surrounded on all sides as we advance. Okay, well this is my HQ. Built some units. Uh, a little bit worried because for quite a while now. Uh, the neighbors have been playing some really loud music. I wonder if I'm going to get a copyright strike for that or something. I wonder if it's even picking up. I want to go elite here, so... I mean, is there any point in doing that? Because I'm just getting energy if I do that. Alternatively, it could generate knowledge. It makes quite a quite a difference. Yeah, this is on the outskirts. We will upgrade the defenses here. 780 versus 8, 808. I think we can handle that. All right, we actually get to expand. And all we have is a residential, which is super questionable. Why did I do that? OK, I think we're going to go here. This seems pretty obvious. Get some food. That's a, that's a bad thing. Well, we could fix that easily enough. Get a food sector with some extra food on top of it. We can start growing the residential sector into hopefully something decent. Main invasion by neutrals, yeah. Okay, Void Barriers ready. Void Barriers is an incredibly obnoxious uh, skill to deal with. Remember the final mission of the original campaign, playing against a Void Tech commander, and he had this on all his bases, and it just takes you, like, you can move, like, four hexes inside their territory. Like, it doesn't actually help you with combat, but it makes movement on the overworld so costly. It's really a pain to deal with. So really, it's just going to delay delay them a turn, basically, is what it's going to come down to. Okay, Commander is back. Good. Let's uh, start running off again. Now, didn't I have a... Where is it? I thought I had a teleporter I had built in this base, like here. Maybe they, they dismantled it? I don't know. Uh, I definitely am going to want one of those eventually. But for now, I guess we come up this way. Uh, unexploited sector, well, agriculture is what I had decided. Uh, actually, I have a lot of uh, influence as well, and I'm trying to get... If I buy two things... 
I can increase my friendship with the growth, which will give me two more influence a turn. Do I want poison glands? Not really. Soldier bees are pretty nice. They are flying, so I could could just get a couple of these. Okay, and now we're friends. We can get a bunch of stuff. Verdant growth. Operation, each food sector. Oh, this is a doctrine, right? Yeah. 15 food for food sector, which is nice. New demonic spores. Uh, euphoric to itself and all adjacent biological and cyborg units. It release, releases regenerative spores, which heal it and all adjacent friendly biological cyborg units. 10 health at the end of each turn in tactical combat. Let's buy that as well. And then... So yeah, we're now friends with the growth. Forgotten. We actually want to get up to integration because... That actually gets us the um, but, uh, a quest completed. So I decided this was pretty good. Is this it? Entropic Decay? Yeah. Let's buy that as well. I'm not really working on questing as much anymore. But yeah, that should get me a little bit more. Because we've improved with the growth. Okay, yeah, you guys are Sector doing whatever. Annexed. This cap's at 200, so if I don't spend it, then I lose access to it. Alright, so we're going to send one of you out to here. Just, oh, I can't quite make it. Just to clear that. The other nice thing, flying units are fast. Although I guess on a road they're the same speed. Really, I need to claim like these two sectors. And in fact, I could just spend influence to claim them. Might not be a bad thing to do. Happiness event in colony. Happiness event in colony. Okay, very nice. Operations primed and ready. A hero Resurrection still letting me do that, so I'm assuming I have a hero that's down. And even if I don't, having it queued would be nice. I don't know if you can queue it, though. Completed Negotiator, Empire finally. Task completed. Items bought cost 20% less influence. Buy five items from a faction. Yeah, I was uh, not really spending my influence on that, was I? I was doing a lot of other stuff. Buy three dwellings from an NPC faction. Now that is absurdly expensive. All NPC faction units gain 300 morale, 10 health, and 10 extra 10% extra damage, and I get an army. Small army. I mean, it's good rewards, but... Alright. So... This is a new turn, everybody's got their movement. We can move our four hexes in the rough terrain. I guess if I take this, I get the... Um, what is it? I get. I don't get the road, do I? I might get the road in that one area. Okay. Yeah, now you're kind of isolated. You're not that strong either. Still costs four. Okay, yeah, this isn't my road yet because I haven't integrated. Eleven, nine. I think I could do it. Uh, however, we're coming in on an hour here. Oh, definitely with you as well, if we could do this. So I guess 
we'll do that next time. Probably. Mm, that would involve splitting my army. I mean, they're not that strong. And if they, if they decided to counterattack, I don't think they would win. Alright, so I guess we'll do that next time. Uh, I will see you then.